Well, let's get started. And if you could tell us your name, please, and a little bit about what you do. So I'm Nancy Ross, and I'm a potter. I've been a potter for close to 50 years. And I'm happily done the Crozet Arts and Crafts Festival since it started. So I haven't missed a year. This is my hometown, and, and I love this market. So, uh, I'm a functional potter. I do wheel thrown work with some alterations after the fact. Uh, I like to glaze in blues and greens and some uh, whites and creamy colors, colors that I see around me every day. So by functional pottery, uh, as in pottery you can use in everyday life? Even if it's somewhat artistic, I think it's, I try to make everything have a function and it kind of adds to people's lives it embellishes them, their lives, and when you can use something that's beautiful in everyday use. What inspires your work? I think we hear this all the time, but mostly I'm inspired by nature and what's around me. I live in the mountains of central Virginia, and I look out my studio window at the Blue Ridge Mountains. So these are my basic ins inspiration. Also, I take walks every day with my dog, and I like... Uh, all the botanicals around me, and I find those coming in a lot into my work. So it's such a beautiful area. Um, how did you get started? It was so long ago. <laughs> I was an art major in college. I did drawing and painting, a little bit of sculpture, but back in the 60s they said that clay belonged in the home ec department, so I didn't get to do that. So. After college, it was something I always wanted to do, was to play with clay. And I took a course at uh, a local private school in Charlottesville on uh, wheel throwing clay. Quit my job and said, I'm a potter. And I see uh, some of your pieces behind you. Can you tell us about some of these? Yeah, this, these, this work that, that's on display here at the Crozet Artisan Depot mm -hmm. is uh, my newest line of work. It's something that's been evolving from these forms uh, have been evolving, and I'm very influenced by Georgia O'Keeffe, who is my uh, muse, if I can be so uh, proud to say that. And uh, I like that they capture the essence of flowers without actually looking exactly like a flower. I'm not trying for realism here, just the feeling of it. And a lot of them are made to hold flowers. Uh, the glaze is a turquoise glaze that I only use on these um, pieces. This, this uh, winter I started a new line of work for Ikebana, containers for Ikebana, which is the Japanese art of flower arranging. And these are some of the things that came out of that. These little ones, you would put a little frog in it um, and the flowers are arranged in very um, definite compositions. But again, the bases are just um, Floral, they, these, these are like petals coming up. A newer thing are the putting the turquoise inside, I don't know if you can see it, mm -hmm. and then having the creamy colors outside. So these pieces are very organic. Um, they talk to, to you about flowers. They, they would be beautiful without flowers in them, but they're also very functional and can hold arrangements however you want. And I was just gonna add the, um, some of my functional work is here at the Crozet Artisan Depot, and it's always available here. And this shows you a lot of what I do. For instance, the tea set, the soup tureen and bowls, mugs, bowl, regular bowls, pitchers, all these things are something that I have with my setup, as well as the more sculptural pieces. Walk me through the process of making one of your vases or um, pots. Good, good idea. Mm -hmm. So wheel, wheel work uh, takes a lot of time to learn how to do it. Uh, I teach students how to throw on the wheel and it looks easy and it's really not. However, after a few years of practice, it's really easy. And I start there with most of my pieces. And I start, so therefore the pieces are uh, symmetrical. But what I get the most joy out of now is altering them once I've made them. So for instance, this piece, I'll pick this one again because it's here, was 
a vase that came up and was just a round form, almost like an egg. At that point, when it gets a little stiffer, I cut off some of it and then I start to squish it and manipulate it and alter it. And that's where I really, really have a good time. So I, I realize now that I can make pots perfectly round on the wheel, but I don't need to do that anymore. I do, but I, I like to also alter them. Do you have yeah. a favorite project that you're working on right now? Uh, right now being the time of COVID-19, um, I'm trying to be more creative in the studio, but I find myself uh, falling back on my functional work. I'm, I'm using this time to build up uh, stock in hopes that when we get out of this, there'll be lots of pent up desire to have beautiful homemade things in people's houses. Can you tell us about um, an amazing moment that you've experienced as an artist? Wow. I think I get the most joy when I have children of customers come back as adults and they want to start their collection of pottery like their parents had. So that's, I've made dinnerware for people who are now young adults and whose parents had my dinnerware in their house while they were growing up. And, and that's very rewarding. Is there anything I haven't asked that you'd like to mention? So what I think is really valuable about handmade work and what people will get out of uh, being able to see the virtual show, although missing it, are things like having them in your house. So you'll miss the part of interacting with the artist, but you'll be able to still appreciate the art online and get a chance to purchase it if you want, since we won't have our wonderful annual Mother's Day celebration. If somebody wanted to see more of your work or to purchase any of your work, where would they go? Right now, my only website is Facebook. So it's facebook.com slash Nancy Ross Pottery. And I'll be posting pictures of the new work. I have pictures of these pieces, and um, I'll, as new work comes out, I'll be posting some and put it up there, and that's the way to get in touch with me. And thank you so much for taking the time <laughs> to you. chat with me and show us your beautiful work. Thank you.